Welcome back, YouTube. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. And we got a request from Artemis today. Artemis has supported the channel many times, so thank you for another request, Artemis. We appreciate the love. Um, and we got Red Hot Chili Peppers for the first time on the channel. We so that's do. exciting. Yes. And we're doing the song, one song that I probably know from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, which yes. is good because we're doing the live version. That's awesome. And I prefer to always do a studio if I can, uh, depending on, you know, Making people. Making sure you familiarize yourself with the song first. Exactly. Now, some of you guys have made great requests and we've done them live and it's been fine. It's usually because you guys know which ones we should check out that are going to be really good. But uh, when I'm listening, to an artist for the first time preferably i want to check out the studio but this doesn't matter in this one because i've heard californication before yes and uh so i'm excited to see what they're going to be like live we didn't know um i mean i assume you didn't know either when we were you know reading up a little bit that the red hot chili peppers really uh you know number one they've sold a lot of records which yes. that is expected but they have i think nine grammy awards no six grammy awards and all I remember that stuck in my head, I was like, I couldn't get over. So they had 91 weeks at, no, at number one. Yes, on the, on the Billboard, right? Yeah. Alternative songs or something like that. Yeah. Uh, they had, they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and they got the Hollywood star as well. So, they got um, it all. Yeah. Um, and uh, I actually, I, I, rem I think I remember, um, I can't remember what his name is. I think it was the lead singer was on Joe Rogan at some point. Uh, doing an interview with oh, him like cool. it was maybe a year or two ago before we started the channel and um it, he seems kind of wild he seems like a wild dude really like he's, yeah he seems like he's like all into you know uh exploration type stuff anyways Interesting. off topic but i'm yeah. excited to check out some red hot chili peppers what is your feeling about red hot chili peppers the same thing as me do you know a couple of songs or what yeah, I don't know uh, a ton. Uh, my cousin was really into the Red Hot Chili Peppers when we were growing up, and she's about, I want to say, four years older than me, so I never really got into it, but I remember her being really big okay. into it. So she just, may have played a few songs when you were around. Yeah, like, but I was young, and I think um, one thing that I just always remembered is that there's a member named Flea, and I was like, why is this yeah. name Flea? It's one thing What's, that I always remember. Do you remember any of the other names of the artists? Uh, ooh, no. No, all right. Well, it's our first introduction to Red Hot Chili Peppers. We tend to get to know the groups a little bit more as we get into our journey. Start to try to know their names, but we've done so many different artists that it's really hard to remember everybody's name right yes. off the bat. So forgive us for that, guys. Don't you know come here and be like, yo, you guys are doing some blasphemous stuff by not knowing these guys' names. We'll work on it, believe me. Anyway, hit that like button for us. Leave us a comment. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Let's go. Talk about a build-up. Sounds 
Setting the tone early on, guitars, nice that was fun. build. A little intro there, that was yeah, cool. and uh, getting everybody hyped up, and then to come in. Obviously, you you hear the audience respond; they know that song, that's for yeah. sure. And uh, so cool because then they jumped in with almost the metronome on their clapping, mm-hmm. right? And uh, setting the rhythm for them. Obviously, <laughs> although sometimes they're a little bit off beat, we'll say. <laughs> Um, but, uh, kind of cool seeing some of the lyrics. I haven't heard this song in forever Very and I time. really didn't listen to it. You know, it's just one, I think one of the songs that was so popular, you know, when I was growing up that I still caught wind of it, but I didn't go out of my way to listen to them. Right. So, um, you know, it's kind of interesting to seeing some of the lyrics now, how much it's, it's moved beyond where it was, mm-hmm. you know, like the plastic surgery example, you know, like that's like. I find hard pressed not to find women that aren't getting work done nowadays, right? Yeah. For and sure. then it, you know, back then they were kind of seemingly talking about the Hollywood side of it, right? Like the celebrities that were doing. Yeah, that stuff. the celebrities are doing that yeah, right now. It's just your everyday, everyday people. people that are yeah. doing it. Um, I also had to lie at, or I laugh at the um, psychic spies from China trying to steal your mind's elation, like Chinese spy balloon. Right off the bat, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you know, that can be applicable. In a lot of different senses, though, too, right? Because data is what is the you know oil of today, right? Um, but again, you know, just talking about it. Well, I don't know when. When do we say when this was released? I think it was 1999. 1999. So you know, we're talking almost 25 years ago. And anyway, so that, I found that ironic with some of those lyrics. But anyways, what are you what are you thinking about the song, the vibe? What are you getting so far? I think it sounds really good live. I mean, obviously, I haven't heard the studio version of this in a very long time. But I feel like he's like as he's singing, it's very crisp. It's very clear. I think the sound, like the guitar and stuff, sounds really good. Like it's mm-hmm. a very good live performance, in my opinion. Yeah. So yeah. far, sounds crisp. Um, like I said, it's very cool. You can hear the audience in the mm. background. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it is a great song. I mean, obviously, you know, if you're tuning into this, you probably like the song yeah. and you probably like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. But, um, you know, it, 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 you, you go back in time, you don't really appreciate things as we've done many times before. But it is a great song. You know, I never paid attention to these lyrics. I've heard it so many times yeah. and I never paid attention to the lyrics once. And, and the, yeah. the weight that it, it can hold, it seems like this seems like it's, it's holding you know, quite a bit of weight with the lyrics that they're presenting so far. Yeah, definitely like has some substance to it. Yeah. And I I always kind of looked at the Red Hot Chili Peppers as being this kind of like jokey group. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't know anything about them, but it was just from the visuals that I was seeing from them. I didn't. Your perception at the time. Don't they have a guy that plays naked on stage and stuff too sometimes? (laughs) Maybe it's Flea. (laughs) I don't know. I think he, there might be, I I could be mistaking somebody else. But anyways, the image wise, you know, I never really put two and two together. Red Hot Chili Peppers making a song that, you know, is charged with a lot of lyricism versus, you know, what my image was presenting. Right. Yeah. I mean, at the time, obviously too, when you're younger, you're going to have your own perceived notions as to what might be yeah. you know, them talking about just because of your immaturity thinking like grouping everybody into the same yep the same box anyways let's keep it going we won't stop it again we'll let it run all the way through
Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. So he was dropping bars and that. I'm sure you guys heard me say that three times now. <laughs> I don't think Sam heard me, but, um, you know. Lots of, like, pop culture references in there. Yeah, and, like, tidal waves might clear the way from Californication and, like, the whole theme. Like like I said, I've heard this song so many times. I've heard, I know Californication. I never knew what it meant. Yeah. And now I know what he's talking about. You know, he's he's basically talking about all those references of pop pop culture that we mentioned and the influence and, and, and how you, it's, you know, your perception on things. And like, I just thought it was like the song about California. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like going it, to California. It, technically it is Hollywood, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I had he no even said idea. that like not about on vacation, right? Like yeah. Not just like being in California. Yeah. And there's even like, a, like things that I never picked up on before that he dropped in there, like little sneaky pop culture references, like talking about Alderaan, which is like from Star Wars. Yeah. And um, I wouldn't know that, but yeah, or like I never would have picked up on like talking about good vibrations yeah. before, but like it's Beach Boys song and they're from California, right? right? So, yeah, you know, crazy. Yeah, I, like I said, it was just a great song overall. I like the, um, the electric guitar solo as well with that bass riff, really strong bass riff mm-hmm. in this as well. Um, I like the drums too, yeah, but for me, like I said, the bass riff and then you know the way they layered the electric guitar, um, I thought it was great for the the formula that they put on this song and the sound of the song and you know it's a very melodic song and mm-hmm. you know putting his lyrics very standout lyric for lyricism yeah, it almost sounds like waves. yeah and then adding that guitar in there to kind of just catch the feeling of the song i think they did that great so artemis you did great. it again man it was a great recommendation 
You liked it, Sam? I did. I think we got to get some more red hot chili peppers on the I chili. would agree. I'm sold on that idea. So, guys, give us some recommendations. Yeah. Um, I'd like to hear some more bars from them, honestly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, hear some more lyrics because I was really impressed by that. And uh, maybe they got more, more in that catalog. So. Yeah. Um, I'd be excited to check a little more out. If you guys want to hit those comments and let us know, we would appreciate that. We always appreciate all the insights from all our subscribers. And uh, Artemis, like I said, you were a generous one. So thank you. Um, That's it from us today, though. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.